Hello, friends. Have you ever imagined a world where robots patrol the streets and drones hover in the skies ready to fire? This reality, once confined to science fiction, is rapidly approaching. And that's what we'll explore in today's video. Stay with me until the end. Combat Drones, the new era of air warfare. The landscape of modern warfare is changing rapidly, and the sky is not immune to this transformation. Drones, once limited to reconnaissance and surveillance missions, are becoming true combatants, equipped with weapons and capable of carrying out precise attacks. Turkey, with the introduction of its new tactical drone SAR, is showcasing its cutting-edge technology in this new battlefield. The SAR, an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the Turkish company Aselsan, goes beyond battlefield monitoring. It has its own arsenal, including a light machine gun and the capability to launch mini rockets produced domestically. During live fire tests, the SAR demonstrated its attack capability, successfully conducting eight mini rocket launches, showcasing its efficiency as a combat weapon. Weighing only 25 kilo, the SAR can reach a flight altitude of 2.8 kilometer and has an operational range of 16 kilometer. It is equipped with day and night cameras that transmit real-time images. Its versatility extends to other types of weapons. The SAR can be equipped with assault rifle machine guns, 40 mm grenade launchers, and even small bombs. This attack capability, combined with its precision and mobility, makes it a powerful weapon in an increasingly technological battlefield. Turkey is not alone in this technological race. Countries around the world are developing drones with advanced combat capabilities, redefining military strategies, and changing the future of aerial warfare. One of the most impressive examples is the Jackal drone, equipped with man-pads missiles capable of hitting armored vehicles. The Martlet missiles used by the Jackal have a 3 kilo warhead, sufficient to efficiently destroy APCs and IFVs. This technology represents a significant advancement in combating armored vehicles, challenging the traditional reliance on attack helicopters for this task. Taiwan, with its growing need to defend its territory, became the first buyer of the Jackal, ordering 160 units. This decision demonstrates the importance combat drones are assuming on the global stage. The autonomous robotic system Pegasus, developed by a robotics research company, represents another innovation in this field. It can operate both as a vertical takeoff and landing drone, and as an unmanned ground vehicle. Pegasus has artificial intelligence that allows it to navigate complex environments, avoiding obstacles and creating detailed 3D maps, making it a valuable ally for reconnaissance and attack missions. Greece, in turn, has developed the CISA SRS-1 drone, equipped with advanced sensors and cameras for reconnaissance and surveillance missions. The SRS-1X, a more advanced version, can carry and launch missiles, demonstrating its versatility for both military and civilian operations. In April 2023, the SRS-1X successfully conducted missile launch tests with the Hydra-70 missile, showing its capability to attack maritime targets. The American company Aerovironment, a specialist in drones, developed the Vapor 55, a versatile and reliable unmanned helicopter designed for inspection missions, aerial photography, public safety, and defense operations. The Vapor 55 can carry up to 22 pounds of payload and has a flight duration of up to 70 minutes, making it ideal for various tasks. Belarus has also entered the race, developing a drone equipped with an RPG-26, an anti-tank rocket launcher. In a demonstration video, the drone took off and launched the rocket with precision, showing its potential in attacks on armored vehicles. This technology, in addition to increasing the mobility and flexibility of the RPG-26, allows for aerial attacks without putting the operator at risk. Combat drones are changing the way war is fought. They offer new possibilities for attack and defense, becoming key players in the modern military landscape. The miniaturization of technology, as in the case of the Black Hornet drone, allows special forces to carry out reconnaissance missions with precision and discretion, opening new avenues for tactical operations. The discussion about the ethical and social impacts of this technology is crucial. The use of drones in combat raises questions about responsibility, autonomy, and control, requiring regular regulation and oversight to ensure that aerial warfare is conducted responsibly and ethically. The future of aerial warfare is uncertain, but one thing is clear. Technology is shaping the battlefield and combat drones are becoming key players in this new scenario. 
The rise of robotic dogs, a new era of warfare? In an increasingly technological world, warfare is also transforming. If soldiers on battlefields were once the norm, today, robots and artificial intelligence are beginning to occupy the space that was once exclusively human. One of the most recent and frightening examples of this new reality is robotic dogs capable of carrying and firing firearms. China, known for its military technological advancement, has been the main protagonist in this new arms race. Recently, China's central television network CCTV released footage of military exercises featuring canine robots equipped with machine guns. The news quickly spread, causing a significant international repercussion, especially in the United States, which has historically led innovation in this area. The development of these robots, particularly in the context of growing tensions between China and the United States, raises concerns about the future of warfare. How do these robots work? What are their capabilities? And more importantly, what impacts could this technology have on us? The images of Chinese robotic dogs performing complex maneuvers and carrying heavy armaments are impressive. It's easy to imagine a near future where warfare is conducted by machines without the need for human soldiers. But this vision, so common in science fiction films, is becoming increasingly real, and with it, a series of ethical and social challenges. The Chinese robotic dog, developed by Unitree Robotics, has impressive features. Weighing 60 kilos and with powerful actuators generating 380 Newton M of torque, the robot can carry up to 120 kilos of static load and more than 40 kilos while moving. Its 2,250 watt hour battery allows it to operate for more than five hours without recharging, covering about 20 kilometers. To top it off, the robot can jump up to 1.6 meters in distance and one meter in height and run at a maximum speed of six minutes. But the capability to carry weapons is what truly makes this robot a potential game changer on the battlefield. Equipped with a light machine gun, the robotic dog can be used for reconnaissance, enemy identification, and even targeted attacks. And it's not just a Chinese project. The United States is also heavily investing in military robotics. The Pentagon has been experimenting with robotic dogs equipped with M4 assault rifles, anti-tank weapons, and even AI-activated weapon systems. Ghost Robotics, for instance, developed the SPUR, Special Purpose Unmanned Rifle, a quadrupedal robot that uses a 6.5 mm assault rifle. The company ensures that the robot requires a human operator to fire, ensuring a minimum level of autonomy and control. Although American defense authorities claim that the use of armed robotic dogs is still in the experiment mental phase, the rapid development of this technology, both in China and the United States, highlights the arms race at a new level. The question arises, to what extent can we trust machines to make decisions in combat? This new reality puts us at a crossroads. On one hand, the possibility of protecting human lives through the use of robots in high-risk situations. On the other, the risk of creating autonomous weapons capable of acting without human control, potentially leading to unpredictable and devastating conflicts. The rise of robotic dogs on the battlefield is a clear sign of the growing influence of technology in warfare. The ability of these robots to perform complex and dangerous tasks with precision and efficiency opens doors to a new type of conflict with still unpredictable consequences. It is essential that the international community discusses the impacts and risks of this technology. We need to ensure that the development of military robots is done ethically and responsibly, with a focus on safety and the protection of human lives. The future of warfare is constantly evolving, and the increasing presence of machines on the battlefield is an undeniable reality. It is up to us, as a society, to ensure that this new era of warfare is conducted with wisdom and caution so that technology is used for peace and not for destruction. China, with its armed robotic dogs and Turkey with its combat drones, are showing us a future of increasingly automated warfare. But what does this mean for us? This technology, so promising in some aspects, also presents us with a dilemma. Are we really prepared for a world where machines make decisions that can cost lives? Will the wars of the future be fought by robots and drones? And if so, who will determine the targets and the rules of engagement? It is frightening to think that humanity, in its pursuit of technological advancements, may be creating the tools for its own destruction. But perhaps there is hope. Maybe we can use this technology for peaceful purposes, to explore space, to protect the environment, to create a better future for all. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Your support motivates us to continue exploring important topics like this and bringing more relevant content to you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel.